Welcome back, Herbalots. So, um, yeah. About that last episode. Kind of ended in a bad state. We, um, managed to safely land three Herbalots on Minmus with a science lab. However, said science lab was tilted sideways, and despite some experimentation I did between episodes, there is no way that I can figure out how to get that thing perfectly upright. I think a couple of things conspired. I think I probably should have launched with less fuel. Um, we could have, in the upper stage, we could have uh, gotten more fuel when we landed. And I also think we didn't have enough landing legs. So I have a smaller vehicle here. Um, has eight landing legs instead of just four. Um, it's not nearly as heavy. With Delta V wise here, well, you know, it has plenty of Delta V. Um, and I thought about all of the different ways of what I could do to send a spacecraft there. And while I could send a spacecraft there to give it just enough thrust to get upright, I decided to just send a rescue mission. So we're going to land this here um, close enough where our three Kerbal Knots can get out of their, their space station on Minmus and they can jump into here and they can get home. So yeah. Uh, meanwhile we have some science that's being done on the Minmus craft. It still works as two out of the three large giant solar arrays. I haven't figured out a way to um, make the engine or the uh, whatchamacallit, ore processing work yet. So uh, we'll give that a shot, but let's just go ahead and launch this and um, hopefully we can save our Kerbal Knots, our poor brave, brave souls. Good news is, is this is a lot more wieldy of a spacecraft than what we have been flying. So we should be able to do a property gravity turn, although... Uh, we do have the battery power, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right, we have a... We're able to make electricity just based off of the rocket engine firing. We have an alternator. I don't know that real rockets can do that. They can do some functions by electricity, but I don't think they actually generate electricity. It's a um, unique feature of Kerbal Space Program. So there's a couple of key features that we added to keep that problem from happening. Like I said, one is that we have a smaller um, spacecraft and it's going to be less heavy, uh, much, much less heavy when it lands. Can tilt over to 45 degrees now. Yeah, this is smooth. The other thing is, is we have RCS engines. So we have a little bit of RCS in here. Not a lot, but we can use RCS when we're getting close to the surface to keep us in that nice upright um, stability. Ah, so, um, our goal is going to be to land this near um, enough. We may or may not actually send the, the astronauts there, but they'll at least have a way to get home and, you know, it'll improve morale. You know, not having a way to get home is kind of a bummer. So we'll have a way to get um, science on minutes except for uh, let's separate the stage out actually we're doing really really well and we're in space now yay okay Yeah, in real life, I spent a couple of days trying to ponder out what the best solution was to our 
little problem, minuscule problem, and uh, this is the best that I could come up with. So let's see here. Um. Yeah, we have a lot more thrust to weight ratio, and we'll be fine. And you know, if we have any issues with this, it's just uh, just a robot. Who cares, right? Robots will rebel. Hopefully not. We like our robots. And there's totally not one standing right over my shoulder making sure I say something to that effect. <sighs> Waited a little bit too long, but that's okay. We'll still make it into orbit. Plenty of time to spare. <sighs> okay, good. Perfect. Now, how are we going to get there? Obviously, the best thing to do would be a descending node. We actually need to aim for the south pole, though, so... This might not be so bad. Okay. Okay. We need to advance the time quite a bit. How are we doing here? A lot less acceleration <sighs> let's go a little bit more over <sighs> I think this will do yeah we'll give it a shot Wow, 800. We should have enough fuel, though. Should be fine. It'll be fine. Well, let's warp to the next maneuver. Alright. Let's get this burn done. A little bit early, but that's okay. Um, we actually don't want to go that far, so I'm going to eyeball our, our stop time. Notice our thrust to weight ratio is going up as we uh, continue to burn more fuel. Okay, that looks pretty decent, so let's, for no particular reason, once we cross the orbit of Mon, we'll tilt down. Wow, that is really close. 
Actually, I bet you if we... Let's try that. Whoops, uh, wrong button. So we're going to pass over it. Um, over the pole is okay. It's not... We'd prefer to go over the south pole. Although it's not a really... Tell you what, let's look at the geometry here. Let this pass. Okay, so we want to go down a little bit more, and we want to, there we go, nope, that's not going to cut it, we need to go right, Perfect. Now, of course, the planet will rotate by the time we get there, and this doesn't model that, but this um, means we're on the right track. <sighs> Doing a precise surface landing on a planet is always challenging. Although it should be easier at the poles. It's part of the reason why I was willing to try this. gonna see how precise of a landing we can get so you know we're waiting some time to do the inclination adjustment um, because our speed is going slower and a slower speed means that it's more efficient to do an inclination adjustment or a plane adjustment for that matter um, as we've mentioned before so it's always best to do these inclination adjustments when you're further away. It's best to do the speed adjustments when you're close. Close to a planet. Okay, how's our geometry look? Are we actually going to match that perfectly? Uh, close enough. Wow, that requires very high high precision. Uh, there. That's far enough where I'm much more comfortable. Okay. Well, five days. We'll let it... Uh, move on through we get to the system.
one minute away and how fast we... Yeah, it's only going to take a scooch of thrust to stop us. Um, We're not in the right spot. We're still way too far. This is our ultimate target. Although we don't want to be in target mode, we want to be in orbit mode. So what we're going to do, so let's wait until we're about here, and we'll fire. There we go, that's better. Um, we'll bring it in closer. We want an orbit that's on the order of maybe an hour. Okay. Let's uh, wait one pass and see what happens. Still not the right alignment. Okay, we'll try again. But we're getting closer. You can't warp as quickly when you're close to a planet. about one more pass should do it. So we're gonna slow down here. Notice the thrust weight ratio is changing quite a bit based off of the change of gravity. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay, we're going to give this a shot. want to be in orbital retrograde. And we want to actually this isn't really that close. We're going to slow down a little bit once we get let's go ahead and go to the periapsis and we're going to slow down. So we're going to decrease our orbital time, so we'll revisit the same spot sooner. I want maybe a half hour or so. Yeah. So we'll take... There we go. Wow, I didn't realize that, um, okay, a half hour is one, is a low orbit. Well, that's okay. I almost took that too far. I didn't, did I? No. We're in a circular orbit. Okay. Whew. Yeah, waiting was definitely the right call. But we most definitely will want to... to try to land now. Yeah, we're gonna be really close. Okay. Good. So let's uh, let's do this, shall we? Um, 
Okay. How are we doing? Polar sight. Where's our... Oh, wow. We're really close. We're really close. I don't know that I've ever actually tried to do one of these um, surface rendezvous before. Real mission, you probably wouldn't stick the landing legs out quite so early, but um, I'm just filling it. Okay, let's... We're getting closer. How's... We're actually going to miss... Yeah, that's what I thought. Do we want to... Let's point the spacecraft in that direction. You know, these landing legs look like they're rotated the wrong direction. I wonder if that had anything to do with our incident last time. How does this look like we're going to do? Still not really headed in the right direction, are we? Now it looks like we're headed right there. Actually, I forgot we have target mode. Okay. How does that... Oh, perfect. We don't have to aim for exact... But, um... Within a half kilometer or so would be really good, and I think we're gonna do that. How far are we from the surface? It's always so hard to tell. Yeah. How's our suicide burn time? Oops. Oops, and I'm floating. That's okay. See if we can aim a little bit better for target. Probably should have sprung for the better probe core, but that's okay. Touchdown! Oh, 
Yay, so let's switch over to the other guys. How are they doing? Ah, oh, they're relieved. They're like, wait, we can be saved. Oh. I thought that was 29 meters away. I'm like, come on, did I really land that close? Okay, so um, we're going to send our engineer out. All launch hatches are obstructed. Uh-oh. Uh, well, looks like we're going to have to roll a little bit. I guess we can only use one panel. Okay, well, that'll be fine. Um, how's the science coming? Well, hang on. Take a surface sample. We'll give one to science. Long term, and one for storage. Um, we'll take a surface sample to keep, do an EVA report, which we actually store experiments. Okay. So we're going to drop off our... Um, data here and let's go check out the probe and by probe I of course mean actually we need to plant a flag here too uh, flag patient. This is the closest I've ever landed to spacecraft. Actually, I've never done a surface rendezvous. <coughs> it's um, a lot harder to do if you have an atmosphere. And uh, looks good. So yeah, we are gonna keep up the the science. It's wrong. Why am I? Um. I don't know what's going on. Okay, that was weird. Um, anyways, we... <sighs> only had a pro core in the lower unit. It's got... <laughs> Oop. 
sorry about that. Um, it's kind of tempting to separate this out since we know that we're not going to be able to take this thing home. But, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and turn off the lights. Silly me. We're doing science. Good. Let's um, chug some more. stuff in good 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 oh we're gonna have to take all of the science that we have here but that's okay um and the lab's full good 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 so we haven't done all of our science from from here uh there's no point in resetting this actually is there because we're just going to have to abandon it. We can log our seismic data, like Insight will do. Um, uh, that's okay. And do we have the gravity? Yeah. Log. Oh, we don't want that. Okay, Jeb. Or Jeb. Why did I do that? Valentina's on this mission, silly me. Gosh. I would have expected this from Jeb. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, that was close. Apparently, I was balanced on a thin point. Okay. Let's get ourselves settled. is a precarious mission. Okay, so Valentina, I think you can step out of the spacecraft safely now. Yes. Whew. Let's go ahead and have you take all of the data. And, well, there's no pressure. Had you take that. Okay, good. And we'll log our gravity data. Okay. Wowzers. Yeah, so... How much science we have? We got a bunch. Um, there's no reason for us to call this in anytime soon. We're going to try to continually transmit science. I'm just going to keep this running, so I'm going to put a pause in here. So, welcome back. Um, so, I've decided that we're going to let that science keep running for, for a while. And uh, we're starting to lose some time on some of our other contracts, so we're going to, to go ahead and do that. We've actually done several years worth of science. Um, next episode, we are going to rescue another Kerbal Knot who got stuck. This time, not due to actions of my own. We have a contract to go rescue a Kerbal Knot that's on the moon, and we're also going to do some science and uh, get a flag while we're there. So stay tuned for that. Um, we'll see at the very end of the mission if we can recover any of the, if we can get any ore. I haven't had any success so far, but um, we'll try, let's call it advanced measures to, uh, to rescue the, the spacecraft once we're, we're able to, once we're gonna leave. Um, so far we've collected actually quite a bit of science here, I'll just show you this.
before we leave. Um, you know, 2000 science. So it's really been a valuable mission in a lot of ways. Um, what kind of technology do we want to get? Ooh, is this the inflatable one? Ah, that's the inflatable heat shield. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm not feeling like jet travel. Ooh, we want the grabber. The grabber makes docking much, much easier. Um, I think we want these two. Oh, we can go into the next level of uh, tanks to be the really big ones. Um, I'll sometimes use the mammoth engine, although I don't really want to start building large rockets yet. Uh, command seat, that's useful. So we can build a rover. Oh, cool. Um, actually, let's keep going with rover tech. Ion propulsion. Yeah, that's useful. I don't care about the large holding tank that much. Even bigger relay antenna. Um, let's go ahead and get ion engines. So we'll do some talking about that. We'll get the gyno. Yeah, we're out of. Actually, we're going to get this because we want to get, um, and we may as well get this too. So more options of aerodynamic surfaces. So this will make, ooh, air brakes. That would have been handy with the last mission that I did. I finished off the um, long-standing mission that we had had to... To collect um, some temperature readings from the other side of the planet. Um, we don't have that ability, but we're gonna do a double rescue mission next time. How are our contracts as far as time goes? Yeah, so we've been using a lot of time um, just collecting the science from Minmus. So we're gonna do two rescue missions, we're going to collect science data, and we're going to plant a flag. Two rescue missions. Yeah, these two. This one, the one we just took, plant the flag and the science data. There we go. Those are the missions we're going to do, and then um, we've got more than enough science tech to head to Duna, so I think we're going to head to Duna. We'll forget this silly dream of mine to do the three planet mission. Um, I think the Duna mission will do will be somewhat similar to what my Minmus mission is, although we've learned from our mistakes, and that is part of real science and engineering. So thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you next time. Take care.